My name is Logan and I am a career wilderness adventure guide and behavioral healthcare professional. Today, I'm getting ready for a unique adventure that attempts to combine these two worlds in a way that is fun and if we're really lucky, maybe even productive. So I teamed up with my friend and coworker, Dan, who you'll meet shortly, to create a special adventure that is loosely based off Joseph Campbell's hero's journey. All right, let's book it into town and check in with Dan, who's been planning the route for this adventure and see what's in store for us. Hey, in the gear dungeon, there he is. What's up, Dan? Yo, what's going on, dude? I'm our program director here and was a resident here prior to that. I'm also a alcohol and drug counselor. All right, lay it on us. Where are we going? Franconia Ridge is this whole range right here. We'll go up to Little Haystack, which is almost 5,000 foot in mountain, and then move to Mount Lincoln, which is our main goal. Okay, so that's the route. We've sent out six exclusive invitations to some of the guys who are getting ready to transition out of our program, getting ready to leave treatment entirely. The call to adventure has been set. We get to see who answers the call tomorrow morning and meets us at the designated rendezvous point and drive into the heart of the White Mountains of New Hampshire. So tomorrow morning, let's see who shows up. Ooh, early morning shot. What's up, dude? What's up, man, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. Hell yeah, where are we going? On a mountain? <laughs> yeah, we're going, we're going somewhere. <laughs> What's up, bud? What do you mean there's three of us? I mean, there's three of us. Oh! Pass one in the back. Yeah, man. With our turnout at only 50%, I think that just might be an accurate or even generous reflection on how most of us refuse to step into new or hard or even uncomfortable experiences despite many invitations. <laughs> After getting briefed on the nine mile route with nearly 4,000 feet of elevation, we need to make some miles and start the climb. <laughs> your name and your hometown. Alex, Cape Cod, Massachusetts. I am Parker. I'm from Montpelier, Vermont. Will, Blue Hill, Maine. All right, boys, have you heard of the hero's journey? Yep. What do you know about it? Almost every story revolves around the basic formula of the hero's journey. Reluctant hero, call to action, apotheosis. Dan and I have been talking for a while about like a really special trip, a special call to adventure, right? So we invited six guys, only three of whom well, accepted the, the call. I thought it'd be really cool to climb a real physical mountain as a metaphor for like the spiritual, mental, emotional mountain that we've all been climbing. You guys answered the call, hiking up the mountain, our first couple of steps, we're in the adventure. But then there's the trials, okay? So that's where the hurdles begin because it's not all sunshines and rainbows. The mountain will throw villains at you. It'll all be worth it. Dan and I figured that the trial of the climb alone, however challenging it may be in itself, might just not be adequate for our purposes. So, if things get a little too chummy, we have a bonus trial to whip out. Will, why did you choose to come today? Because I wouldn't have another opportunity like this. This isn't something I would normally think of or necessarily want to do on a Sunday. That's actually really interesting that you've done trail work. Yeah. Where have you done trail work? Oh boy, I've done it in the Allagash Wilderness Waterway, the Katahdin, Turner, Old Blue Mountain, that's part of the AT. Then a lot of places when I was with the Maine Conservation Corps. So when you're hiking this trail, like what do you see differently than other people probably don't notice? So something like this, this kind of Widowmaker deadfall is something our chainsaw crews would cut off and buck up and move out of the way because it is dangerous. Maybe not now, but yeah. you know, someday. All right, Alex is out doing us all. What are we wearing, dude? Air, Air Force, Force Ones? Khakis? Yep. It's confessional time. What would you do? I uh, fucked up a little bit. Yeah? You got the backpack, though. Yeah, you did forget the backpack. Yeah. It's all good, though, right? We're going to overcome it. We're choice. Yeah, That's right. <laughs> How you doing, Parker? Chilling. It's awesome. Have you ever done a trail like this? I have. But what, what have you done? I did a bunch of canyons in Utah that were similar length. I did Mount Washington. All right, boys. 
I think it's time we start our first trial of the day. What we want to do is have each of you wear this for a unknown amount of time with the other two guiding you. We want you to feel essentially blind and have to rely on your team to make it through. Who would like to go first? Bainsky? Because there's not a lot of rocks. Shit. All right, so Park will take point, hand on his backpack. Going downhill or uphill? Climbing a mountain while going up the hill. Three, two, one. Nice, bud. Nice. Now, now hike is gonna be so much. Yeah, I'll do it. Three, steady, go. I think Will wins the sturdy foot award of the day. Yeah. Try to step your right a little bit, side step your right. Big, right foot. Five. Four. Big, 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 big step. step. Two. One. Yeah, yeah buddy. Nice. <sighs> Let me figure out what we got right here. All right, I'm on your back. All right. Right through this little canyon. Three. Two. All right, and bend your left. Done and done. Yeah, Dom. Nice. Would you guys say that was more productive or just more like abuse? 50 50. Yeah, 50 50. Okay. I mean, that's, I was going for a 50 50. You know? The 50 50 is like, that's, yeah. that's how you know it was a good yeah. exercise. You need to go up there and just like roll boulders down the hill. Above the trees and with a new perspective, we close in on our final approach. But before flailing ourselves towards the summit, we must first replenish energy and regain focus with a well earned lunch break down in a protected alcove. Also, I pulled out a bonus watermelon I had hidden as the reward for everyone accepting the ludicrous blindfold challenge from earlier. Take it, get it to Spangle. To properly move through the hero's journey, it's required that we face some of the shadows of our past that follow us anywhere we go. So I beg some questions and ask for vulnerability from the men. So I just want to say that I see all of you as like genuine examples of transformed individuals because I've had this unique view into witnessing and participating in what may have been the hardest chapter of your life. Like I've watched you all learn how to climb out of a hole that thousands of young men are still at the bottom of and you've at least begun to peek out, you know, and get a view. What I'm hoping to learn from you is what are the tools you acquired and beliefs and mindsets you changed to be able to get up? And can you practice communicating them in a way so that you may begin to influence others who might need your help? Yeah, that's, uh, that's kind of where I was at when I um, was in the hospital, like trying to figure out like what comes after my, you know, two week stabilization stay. It's like, I, you know, I wasn't going anywhere. Things were just getting bad, just gotten sober. Ultimately, I had no idea what the hell I was supposed to do. I pushed to go to further treatment to really dig at the shit that messed it up and screwed up my whole life. Character traits, ways of thinking, all of that change has always been a hard thing for me. I just said, fuck it, I don't know what I'm going to do. Someone tell me what to do. Uh, I'm done trying to figure it out on my own because I haven't been all that successful thus far. I mean, I started a company with my cousin a couple years before I came here and we had a hard time finding employees so I wound up doing basically three four jobs for a year driving being one of them I was running a warehouse I was doing this doing that and self-care just left the picture altogether you know not to mention we were selling beer so that was part of you know what I mean it was a self-defeating prophecy Self-care is easy when things are easy, but then when things are hard, it's one of the first things to go. Doing fun things on a regular basis, again, for me, work and school pretty much at the same time back into the mix, your underlying habits are already developed. You know, so giving yourself enough time to build those habits. Your people don't like being told to calm down, settle down, relax, you know, yeah. so you have to find yeah. more roundabout ways of telling them the same thing. From like... Eight months ago to now, like it was just like throwing a baby in like middle of the lake and just them flailing their arms trying to figure out <laughs> how the fuck to stay afloat. <laughs> yeah. And now I think I'm at least starting to tread water, maybe figure out the backstroke a little bit. I think it took a while for me to just like give up my own ways and actually start to make a change. 
Not completely sure about what I want to do in the future, but now the only thing that's stopping me from doing what I want to is me. If you can, like, find some common ground with them. Hey, I've been there before. This is what helped me. I don't know if it'll help you, but it worked for me. Even if something sounds stupid, give it a try. Maybe you listen to the people who actually have their shit together. I don't know. I don't have anything life-changing to say, but give it a try. It's the worst that can happen. Boys, you want to hit the summit? Yeah. Yeah, no. Last stop and final request. Before we get back into the forest and return to the city, I want you to consider what your treasure is and to bring it back to your peers. You know, like something sincere and humbly attained by you that is unique to your journey. So, will you all take a turn and speak to everyone in the program this Monday about your ascent up the literal and metaphorical mountain? Can you do that? Yeah, sure. You game? I'll be there also to remind yeah. us. Yeah, that'll be sweet. Yeah. All right. Sweet. Awesome. You don't need hiking boots, you just need an Air Force Ones, gallon bag, it's a good mindset, that's all you need.